JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. It's your boy, Bow. We're going to talk about the JavaScript standard style, right? So this is a style guide that pretty much people are, are, are finding out about it now. If you guys haven't found out about it, that's why you're here because your boy got you. Listen, all right. So what exactly is it? It's just a way to code your JavaScript. It's a way to organize your JavaScript. It's a way to basically have the same style as everybody in the team, right? So where does this come in to the picture? When is it a good idea to use the JavaScript standard style guide, right? It's a good idea when you're working on a team or even when you're working by yourself. Whenever you want your code to actually look clean, to look a certain way, have a certain standard and something that you could be proud of. You know, that's why I use it. That's why I'm constantly promoting this thing because it's pretty legit. And not only that, when I first found out about the JavaScript standard style guide, there was like literally 40 stars on it on GitHub. Almost nobody knew about it. And then, you know me, I'm constantly looking for the new projects, constantly looking to see what cool things are out there. And, you know, everybody was talking about the Airbnb style guideline, right? It was cool, and it, it's still good. A lot of people use it, but it gives you the options to turn off rules. It gives you the options to ignore things. So, like, let's say somebody in your team wants to code a certain way, and they're like, you know what? Matter of fact, I want to have double quotes for strings, right? Yeah, you could go ahead and do that, and you could ignore the rules. But in the JavaScript standard, you can't do that. It's basically everybody has a certain standard that they got to follow. Either for spacing, for indenting, meaning two spaces for the indents. It's like it just basically controls the way how people code. Because if we don't control how people code, this is going to be the wild, wild west. Especially when, you know, everybody's like, okay, I want to use ES6 or I want to use uh, ES5 and I want to go use this, this, and that, I want to use TypeScript and a whole bunch of things in one project, then it becomes like, you know, the wild, wild west. It becomes really chaotic and it's not worth it, right? All right? So what you guys probably like, okay, who the hell, who the hell uses this, right? So most people, they, they judge a project by who actually uses it. So I'm going to tell you right now. The people that actually code like this with the standard. NPM, GitHub, Upbeat, Neat, Brave, uh, Zendesk, MongoDB, Typeform. Uh, let me see who else is in here. The people who created Atom. The people who created Express. No JS, guys. Come on. You know, so it's like, it's pretty out there. A lot of people are using the standard. So I would say, guys, if you want to be, you know, a little edgy, want to be out here and be like, hey guys, I'm one of the first doing this. Well, you guys got to jump on it now. Not later, not in a little while. I would say jump on it now because it just makes your code look cleaner. And not only that, that's more organized. Anybody that you come in and you say, hey, look at my code. Now your code, basically with the ES lint and the linter through Adam, which I will be doing a, a tutorial on this, Basically, it just makes your code look cleaner and anybody that's going to read it could actually follow what you're doing. Plus, they're going to be familiar with it because it's a standard. People are just taking this as the standard for JavaScript. You know, a lot of people is going to hate on it because you don't need to put a semicolon at the end. All those, the people that are hating on it, they're pretty old. All right. So don't tell them I, t <laughs> don't tell them I told you that. Right. So but that's that's what happens, guys. It's like, you know, the old heads, those guys that's been around for 10 years, they're like, oh my God, I've been coding like this for 10 years, and oh my God, they really don't put semicolon? <gasps> yeah, there's no semicolon on it, right? So, a lot of people's gonna hate on it, but this is the future, guys. You know, don't worry about the old heads, don't worry about those uh, weirdos. Man, we out here, man. We're going to come out here and, and, and basically ramsack the industry. Everybody's using it already, so make sure you get on it. Anyways, guys, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. 
You know, subscribe to the kids, share the video, tell your boy about it, tell your girlfriend instead of watching those makeup tutorials, come over here and dab with the kid. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> have fun, guys. Listen, back again, back with the good camera. I'm trying to come back into this, this YouTube land and create some pretty good videos for you guys. At the same time, remember, they're supposed to be informational. They're supposed to be educational. They're supposed to be fun, though. Because this is YouTube. If you're not having fun and you're not entertained, this shit becomes very boring. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Bow! GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe. Back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. It's your boy. Bow! Alright guys, listen. We're going to talk about the JavaScript standard style. right? So this is a style guide that... Pretty much people are, are finding out about it now. If you guys haven't found out about it, that's why you're here because your boy got you. Listen, all right, so what exactly is it? It's just a way to code your JavaScript. It's a way to organize your JavaScript. It's a way to basically have the same style as everybody in the team, right? So where does this come in to the picture? When is it a good idea to use the JavaScript standard style guy, right? is a good idea when you're working on a team or even when you're working by yourself whenever you want your code to actually look clean to look a certain way have a certain standard and something that you could be proud of you know that's why I use it that's why I'm constantly promoting this thing because it's pretty legit and not only that when I first found out about the JavaScript standard style guide there was like literally 40 stars on it on github almost nobody knew about it and then, you know me, I'm constantly looking for the new projects, constantly looking to see what cool things are out there. And, you know, everybody was talking about the Airbnb style guideline, right? It was cool, and it, it's still good, a lot of people use it, but it gives you the options to turn off rules, it gives you the options to ignore things. So, like, let's say somebody in your team wants to code a certain way and they're like you know what I'm gonna put in the ES link I don't wanna uh, have matter of fact I wanna have double quotes for strings right yeah you could go ahead and do that and you could ignore the rules but in the JavaScript standard you can't do that it's basically everybody has a certain standard that they gotta follow either for spacing for indenting meaning two spaces for the indents. It's like, it just basically controls the way how people code. Because if we don't control how people code, this is gonna be the wild, wild west. Especially when, you know, everybody's like, okay, I wanna use ES6, or I wanna use ES5, and I wanna go use this, this, and that. I wanna use TypeScript and a whole bunch of things in one project, then it becomes really chaotic and it's not worth it, right? All right. So, what you guys probably like? Okay, who the hell uses this, right? So, most people they they judge a project by who actually uses it. So, I'm gonna tell you right now, the people that actually code like this with the standard npm, GitHub, Upbeat, Neat, Brave, uh, Zendesk, MongoDB, Typeform. Uh, let me see who else is in here. The people who created Atom, the people who created Express, no JS guys, come on. You know, so it's like, it's pretty out there. A lot of people are using the standard. So I would say guys, if you want to be, you know, a little edgy, want to be out here and be like, hey guys, I'm one of the first doing this, well, you guys got to jump on it now. Not later, not in a little while, I would say jump on it now because it just makes your code look cleaner. And not only that, that's more organized. Anybody that you come in and you say, hey, look at my code. Now your code, basically with the ES lint and the linter through Adam, which I will be doing a, a tutorial on this. Basically, it just makes your code look cleaner. And anybody that's going to read it could actually follow what you're doing. Plus, they're going to be familiar with it because it's a standard. People are just taking this as the standard for JavaScript. You know, a lot of people is going to hate on it because... You don't need to put a semicolon at the end. All those the people that are hating on it, they're pretty old. <laughs> don't tell them I told you that, right? So, but that's that's what happens, guys. 
It's like, you know, the old heads, those guys that's been around for 10 years, they're like, oh my God, I've been coding like this for 10 years, and oh my God, they really don't put semicolon? <gasps> yeah, there's no semicolon on it, right? So, a lot of people's gonna hate on it, but this is the future, guys. You know, don't worry about the old heads, don't worry about those uh, weirdos. Man, we out here, man. We're going to come out here and, and, and basically ransack the industry. Here, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials and just... Listen, man, change your life, change your lifestyle, do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.